Hey everyone, hope everyone's doing well. It is a Sunday night and I was uh, trying to figure out how to get some videos in and I got um, a compactor that I work for got jammed so I didn't have to, to work tonight so I thought well, I'm going to come home and make a video because I just haven't been able to find the time to get on here. So, um, so what I'm going to talk to you guys about tonight is this wig. It is Envy's Belinda in Sparkling Champagne. I put a review out there on March 17th when I actually, I, I bought it on March 10th and I did my unboxing um, March 17th. And so I'm absolutely in love with this wig. Now, she's looking rough and I've been wearing her every day from the time I get up in the morning until I go to work and I put my work hair on. Um, but a little backstory, um, <clears throat> like I said, I, I just love it. I love the, there is no weight here whatsoever. I don't know why this wig weighs 4.3 ounces. Yeah, 4.33 ounces. But there is no weight here. I mean, I literally cannot feel like I'm wearing this wig. The only thing I feel is like the hair, you know, just around my neck and in the back and, you know. But, so, I was going to tell you a little backstory. But, so, I had this wig probably maybe two weeks. And my daughter's black and tan coonhound got a hold of it. She's a puppy. She's about a year old. Well, she had, well, she punctured it. She put a hole in the top of the lace where the part is. And um, I had to put some moleskin tape on there. So, but, but a, it, sh it like shed a lot because it, there was a hole there. And so all those uh, strands that were attached let go. But um, I was able to salvage her. Um, it literally looked like a teased ball. I mean, it, it was it was so bad. Every strand on this thing was teased, and she had just kept running it through her teeth. And when I woke up and I saw it on the floor, I thought, "Oh my goodness, that's my wig!" So I was so upset. <laughs> but anyway, so I <clears throat> I got it and I combed it out slowly all the way through, and literally. There was not a straight strand on this wig. I mean, that's how bad she had teased it with her teeth. And uh, so I, I just sat there patiently. I mean, it was, the hair was just falling out like crazy too. And I was so in love with this wig. I was so broken hearted. But anyway, so I combed it and I combed it and I combed it. And then um, I washed it and I conditioned it. And then, you know, she was kind of back to normal. But I would say that she basically ruined it. Um, I mean, it, it looks okay and I can wear it, but so I was, but I was just, I was devastated, but I love this wig. I almost feel like this is the wig. And I say this sometimes in my videos about how, when I find that one wig that I love and I never want to buy another one, I'm almost telling you that, that this, this is that situation. Um, I've been trying to look at the other Envy brands or the other Envy wigs like um, that are similar. Um, like there's a, a Bobby and a Brooke, but they look so thick. So I'm just not sure. But I, as a young girl, I had baby fine hair all through my whole life. Um, it was just, you know, very, very thin. Ponytails were very, very small. You know, I just never had big hair. Um, in the 80s, I kept a perm just to, to keep my hair big, you know what I mean? But, um, but this wig is everything I want in a wig. It's a lace front. It has a mono part. It's a left side mono part. And I, I just pull her up every day. I, I like just put her up in a clip like this. I'll just put a little clip back here, flip it out, and make sure none of my hair shows, and I just, I love it. 
like I said, it's just it's so easy to put up and you can pretty much just put it up every how you want and it looks fine. So, so anyways, I do believe this is my wig. And so, because this one was kind of destroyed, uh, like I said, I was able to salvage it and I have been wearing it every day since about March 20th. So it's been about, I've been wearing it every day for about six weeks and, and it's holding up fine. And, but it's, it's, you know, it's, the fibers are thin. So I think that makes them a little bit more vulnerable to being frizzy looking a little bit. But I, I comb her out every day and I put conditioner on her. And I mean, I just love it. I just, I find that I'm not reaching for anything else. Um, except for like maybe on Saturday or Sunday if I actually go somewhere nice I'll put on one of my you know Miranda John Renault's or you know one of those so but I am wearing this one every day and I, I'm so happy and so I had to I had to make another purchase I had to get me another one and in the, in the there so I bought another one and it's Belinda and it is in sparkling champagne again because this this is like the perfect color I mean it it has a description which says it's sparkling champagne it says it's chocolate brown roots strawberry soft golden blonde now to me none of that description sounds right to me so ordering another one in the same color I might find that this isn't this one isn't the right color but I do believe it is, because um, this is the color that I got, and I think it's the same exact color. But this is my color. I love this color. It's perfect. Um, like I said, I just, I just can't get over how much I love this wig. I, it tucks good. Um, I've been trying to wear a wig grip. And I bought one just at the local beauty st supply store. They're like two bucks. So I bought one. But I'm struggling with that bulk under there. I just don't like it. But um, I am trying to do that because I don't, I don't want to have a situation where my wig comes off. And they, this one does feel, I mean, it's very generous in size. And sometimes I can feel it slide a little bit. Now... On the weekends, I don't so much during the week because I don't see anybody, but on the weekends, I will put that uh, got to be uh, spiked glue on there, on the lace, like if I'm wearing like a John Renault. And that stuff, if you leave, if you just put it on up there, right where your lace goes, and let it set for about five minutes, and then put your wig on and press your lace into it, that stuff works. I mean, it it really keeps your wig in place. Um, I've, I've done it for the last couple weekends, like on Friday and Saturday nights. I've put my wigs on, I've, well, I've put the glue on, I let it sit for five minutes, then put the wig on, and those wigs are not going anywhere. Um, so if you're not, if you're struggling with how to glue your wigs down, that is the way to go, that spiky stuff. Now, when you get home, you gotta put some water up there and you know just keep dabbing it and then finally it will it will release it just takes a little bit and then you have to wash it off your head because you got glue all over your head but but anyways so I have a new Belinda with in sparkling champagne and I'm so excited um, this one like I said I've been wearing it for let's see today is May 9th so I've had it for two months. I bought it two months ago. I bought it on May on March 10th. So I've had it for two months, but I've probably only been wearing it for about six weeks. And you know, if I had to buy one of these every six weeks, I I would be completely fine with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it I would just buy a bunch of them, keep them, just keep them in stock because um, if I like if I ever reached a point where okay, I'm I'm tired of doing this wig thing. I'm just gonna buy one wig and stick with it. This would be the wig that I would buy and I would just buy it and I would just wear it over and over and over. Um, my sister also wears wigs because she has the same issue I have and she buys the same wig from the wig company and she buys 
three or four a year, and she every three or four months, she's like every three months probably, every three months she rotates them. She's got, you know, she's got three at a time sitting there, and she keeps them rotating. One is for work, one is for good, one is for church, and then she just keeps, you know, moving them around. So if I ever get to that point, this will be the wig that I will buy. And like I said, I love it because I can pin it up. And, you know, if I wanted to pin these back, you know, I could take a, I could take one of these little bobby pin clip things. These are so cool, you guys. I got these. I bought these at, um, I think it was the dollar store, the Dollar Tree. But anyways, there's six of them. And they're just like, they're like bobby pins, but they're just bigger and they work perfect for wigs because you know the hair is the hair texture is different on the wigs and so you could just you could pin it back if you wanted. See how cool that is? That just looks so great. Um but anyways I uh I was feeling bad about not getting on here in a timely manner and giving you guys an update, but I think six weeks was a good amount of time for me to see how this was gonna hold up. Especially since the fact that my daughter's coon dog just totally almost destroyed it. I mean, I think that when I picked it up, I think most people would have just thrown it away. But I was just so devastated because I loved it so much. And I was like, oh no, I got to, I got to figure out how to fix this. <laughs> so I just sat there patiently just brushing and combing and brushing and combing. And I finally got it back to normal. And like I said, I had to repair up here at the top where the, she... She literally punched a hole in the lace. It was probably about that wide. And it was literally, I could put my whole like finger or two down through there. So I had to put some moleskin tape underneath inside the wig. And that's, that's kind of stopped the lace from, you know, getting worse. But, but anyways, so she's really had a traumatic experience. And uh, I was pretty traumatized myself. So, but anyway, so this is Belinda. She is in sparkling champagne. Uh, it, like I said, it's a it's a beautiful wig. It it's long, and you could you could trim her if you wanted to. Um, I don't want to because I I really do like pulling her up. Um, but she is she is so thin, literally. I mean, she's a little bit thicker now than when I first got her, because. You know she's she's getting environment in her and she's thickening up so i mean that but that's very standard um but you know i brush the nape out every night and i brush her out every night and i i'm just in love i mean it's like it's like it's long hair which is what i like um but see she's shedding a lot but it's because she's she's got some tears on her from the from the dog attack i think but um but anyways, if you guys, if you guys like this length and you're looking for like more of a lighter density wig, um, I really do suggest you try her. Because like I said, I knew it's the first moment I put her on that I really liked her. I mean, she, she is just, now see, she's, she's a little bit, getting a little bit big on me. And that's why I've been trying to think about using the wig grips. But I think it's just she's gotten stretched out. You know what I mean? Where I've been wearing her so much. But anyways, you guys, I just can't get over her. I'm just, I can't brag enough about her. Um, like I said, she is just absolutely perfect. And when I'm wearing her, I don't, I don't think anything about even having a wig on. That's how happy I am with this wig. And I can honestly tell you, out of all the wigs I have, this is the this is the one. I mean, I I'm just in love. As much money as I have spent on John Renault wigs, and I still like them. Don't get me wrong. I love my John Renaults, and I do wear them on the weekends. Like you know, I'll pull one out um, to either like you know go out to dinner with family or um, you know if I have a date, I'll put one on for a date. That kind of thing. So, anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys all about this and. Um, Maybe you guys might want to try Belinda. So, anyways, um, I'm going to 
come back on here because I have made another purchase that I'm excited about. I don't know. Um, haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what. I know what it is, and I know the color, but um, I'm going to come back on the next video and talk about it. But anyways, I'm going to pray that the Lord blesses you guys, and I will talk to you in the next video. And you guys take care, and thanks for being patient and waiting on my videos to you know, be put on YouTube. I'll talk to you later. Bye.